Hello, I will show you now how you can use text network visualization to know how to integrate yourself into certain discourse, which can be useful for search engine optimization tasks and when you need to generate relevant keywords or to know what kind of content to create. So every text can be represented as a network. The words are the nodes and the co-occurrences are the connections between them. Once we represent the text as a network, we can use different tools from graph theory to analyze this text to find out what are the main topics and how they're related. I will show you now how this approach of integrating yourself into discourse can be used in the context of search engine optimization. We will actually use the search query itself, search engine optimization. So the first thing we do, when we end up on the apps page, we choose the search engine optimization app and type in search engine optimization and what happens now is that we import two graphs one graph is the graph of Google search results for this query and the other graph is the graph of all the possible requests all the related keywords to this query what we can then see is the two graphs superimposed on each other so we can see the most relevant terms keywords related to the search query search engine optimization we see there is something about website, Google, optimizing, market, marketing, keywords, and so on. All right. So one of the most interesting features in this app is the missing content. So when you click here, you see what's missing, what people search for, so what they demand, but what they do not find yet, for what there is no supply. So in this case, we see there is the words market, tool, job, and PDF. So this is something that you can also see here on the missing keywords pane. You see the difference between the two graphs. You see what is present in the list of keywords that people use next to search engine optimization, but what they don't yet find, what Google doesn't yet give them search results. We see here there is one important cluster with market tutorials. So when we click on the nodes, we can see the search term where they're used. So we see search engine marketing tutorial. So what happens here is that we can actually add it into the list of saved keywords. So I'm going to do this right now. I'm adding this one. And you see it becomes gray. So we see how we can gradually infiltrate all the important terms in the graph. And then we have tool. And what do we have? For example, list meaning. OK. And in which context is it used? Okay, so for example, keyword tool. So we can add keyword tool SEO. So this will be another keyword idea. Okay, and you see that it gradually is also becoming gray. Then there is one important aspect here. It's something about companies. So this is not so interesting for us. And then training, okay, job, tutorial. So this is interesting. It's also one of the influential words, PDF tutorial. So this is something that people search for but they don't find. So we can also add it into the list of keywords that we're interested in. So now we have a list of four different keywords. The original one, search engine optimization, and then marketing tutorial, search engine marketing tutorial. So these keywords here, and then keywords tool, and then keyword tool for SEO, and PDF tutorials. So this is what people search for, but they don't yet find. If we create content which is targeting these keywords, we are almost guaranteed to fill in the gap between what people need and what they actually get. So this is the first part of the strategy, finding the missing content, the missing keywords. The other part of the strategy is to look at the main nodes that are present within this discourse. So for example, here we see that there is something about Google. So Google is quite an important keyword in this context. And we see, okay, Google ranking, in which context is it used? So we can click on the popular search queries and see which search queries are used with Google. We see that Google Console, Webmaster Tools, Search Console. So it just means that people also search for specific Google services in relation to SEO. The only interesting query that we can add is Google SEO. So maybe some people are using this combination. Let's add it into the graph. So we come back to the graph and now we see that the nodes Google, Tool, 
keyword are all covered with gray, it means that they are in our list. So it gives us a very nice visualization of how much of the discourse we covered. And we see that we're still missing website and companies. So let's see what is it about websites and companies. Okay, so people search for SEO company website. So probably it just means that there is a big demand for websites for search engine optimization companies. Or it might also mean that people are searching for a website of a SEO company. In any case, this is not so interesting for us. So what we can do is to delete these two influential nodes here. And now we can see behind this, behind the context. So for example, it might also be useful to delete some of the more prominent ones like market, marketing and Google, maybe tool and keyword because we're kind of done with it. We see that here people are searching for free tools. So this is something interesting for us to add free keyword SEO tools. Okay, you see now it's covered with gray, so it means we're covering this part of this course. We see also online is quite a prominent term. Okay, so training, SEO, tutorial, all these can go into one list. All right, so we have this. People need online training. And finally, the word improve is used quite a lot. So improve SEO Google. So we can add this one, for instance, improve SEO Google. Let's add this into the list of keywords. So now we have quite a nice list of all the different keywords that cover almost all the discourse except for page ranking. Okay, so we can see if there is anything that we can add to it. Again, by clicking on the search queries and seeing in which context it's used. See that improve. Improve is quite a, an important element. So improve online. Improve SEO. All right. And then we can go back to the original graph. We now have a list of keywords that we can use to create the new content and a graph of how much we are engaged into the discourse that's happening around this topic. This is how you can use Infranodos to identify a niche in a discourse and see how to find the most relevant keywords for your search query. You can try it out on infranodos.com. Thank you.